So, hello and welcome to time for Fena Pirate Princess after watching Pirate in One Piece with a lot of cute girls there. Massive up by <laughs> Ultia. If you haven't seen One Piece, it's a week, right? There is one scene with Ulti appears, and she has like huge knockers, and the whole uses her up I was just like, that's our pirate princess for you, look at those old boobies! Uh, anyway, Fiona, more more Disney Western rights, right? Yeah, Fiona definitely has less of uh, fan service than the anime usually has. Uh, there's a whole guy who's one, right? But uh, she's kind of like, I don't know, the granddaughter of Yuan of Ark or something? Um, kind of threw it in there. Uh, I guess Yuan didn't die, right? And, I mean, you have Ark has like a holy power or so sort, right? Fiona is this white margin character. So Fiona is either gonna be the reincarnated uh, Yuan, right? I think. Or, you know, it's like her grandma. Something like that, right? Like that feels. And that's why she's important. She has the holy blood of Yuan of Ark, something. I guess. As I said last episode, I like this they went to Germany. Like, that's like a huge long trip, though. They went from, from like. The West Indies or something like that to like Germany. They don't know exactly where they started, but something, you know, America, West Indies, something, you know, all the across the Atlantic, right there. Then they went into like southern East Germany. They're like that's, that's like thousands of it's not even at the coastline. It's like inside, you know, it's like deep down into the rivers of Germany. I don't even know if you can even drive that way, but um, they did, I guess. And uh, now they go into France, maybe? They're gonna go into like Paris or something. You can actually get to Paris, I guess, by you know the rivers or so on. Um up in the Champagne area. Yeah, Paris is... So, I've been to Paris a lot, right? My family in, in France and so on. So if you go from, um, kind of like the Nor Normandy then, you know, the D-Days, yeah. That's northern France. So if you go from Normandy, or like Calais, you know, classic place, like Calais next to England and so on. Calais is a very, yeah, uh, very, in, very important place in Europe and so on. If you go to Calais, Normandy, that area, you kind of can drive up to Paris. It's, Paris isn't that far from the northern uh, coastline. Uh, it's more, you know, Paris like the northeast of, of France. I can see them going there. Um, Bordeaux, which is on the left side of France, also have some of the hot stuff. Actually, the most given point though is that. In southern east France, north of Nice and so on, you have Avignon. Avignon used to be the Pope city of France, and the Pope didn't only live, you know, in, in Rome in history, right? Pope in, or Papa primacy had more than just Rome. They had Rome, they had uh, Urbino and so on, uh, Urbino, or what it's called in Italy and so on. But they also had Avignon, which is in France, it's like southern east France, uh, close to the coastline of. Uh, Southern, like Nice and so on, yeah, or Savoy and so on, close to that area. So, I guess they could go down to like Nice, Savoy, something like that, right? And then maybe try to go up to Avignon, which is kind of like a holy place in France. I'm just throwing it out as like a, you know, like maybe they're gonna go there, right? Because of the UN of Orcs are kind of holy Christian uh, woman, right? I mean, I mean there's a more sense I'm just throwing up materials here. So, three, two, one, and go. But yeah, Avignon is like a very classic. Um, um, it's opening immediately. Make a try an image of Avignon here. It's very beautiful. Yeah, it's a city in France, but it's, it used to be uh, the holy city. Can get a holy. Uh, yeah, the miracle of Avignon and so on. Here we go, Avignon Papa C. It's very beautiful. Um, I want to build it once, but you know, it's like. Forget the image going here. Oh, come on. Here it is. Yeah. So take a you know, classic, yeah, f like France city um, with cat, like this kind of pope castle and so on, kind of thing. It's like a Christian uh, high high castle, or you call it. Because um, the pope used to live there for a while. I think got a good map of it, but. <laughs> it's the Cathedral of Avignon and so on. But yeah, it's a lot of like Christian stuff in Avignon. Then. It used to be a uh, Pope city, a Papal city. If I Google Papal Palace, yeah. Now, this is the one here. 
the uh, Papa Palace. This is the one. The one I had there was like, this Papa Palace on the back side of it, yeah. So that's the one I had there, but yeah, whatever. Different kind of Papa. Maybe. I mean, given the last episode, they were like, oh, you, you have Orc's granddaughter. Let's go to France, right? I'm thinking that. Uh, and the most holy place in France, arguably, then, is uh, Avignon, right? I was I wouldn't say it's objectively true because Avignon kind of lost uh, and France took it over and so on today. But this anime could take place also in the past. He's sending a message, I guess, too. Yeah. Hmm. So they're gonna betray you tomorrow or something? Even older brother maybe of Shitan? This attachment. The witch? Fina? Hmm? They're gonna betray Fina maybe? Weird. Hmm. Hmm. So they're gonna betray them. That they're planning out to some rev yeah, some revenge something. Yeah. Yeah. Sitan! If she calls Finashan. So let's see if I'm right and they're gonna drive to. Ah! They go to France at least! I called it! <laughs> or Leeds, but I mean, I called it. They were like, they go to France at least. Okay, yeah. They go into France. Uh, as I said, I see they might go to a holy place in France. Or Leeds isn't that crazy place, but. But maybe they're gonna go there later. First they go to Orleans, and then they go into like maybe Paris or Avignon and that. And Bordeaux, maybe. That was that true. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, but you know, at least they go to France. But, uh, I was like, because I mean, obviously my general theory was they're gonna go to France. I was like, they clearly go to France, right? So, yeah, that was like what I was saying as primary thing, right? So they all give Fina their, they all vote for her, okay? She's captain power. Um, yeah, so they're going from Bordeaux, I guess, right? This brand, so yeah, they're gonna go to like, this time they're just showing, I think, a more proper map here, how they're traveling in this country. Um, finding some rivers to travel in, in the, with the submarine inside of the, yeah, if it's a weird anime now, they're like traveling inside of Europe uh, with, on the river's banks. Her hair is a little longer now, so... Fena again getting another hairstyle. You know, so do you want to shit, man? This map isn't that good. So oh, GPS map, well, give me a, give me a break. Um... Oh, it's the, the hot... Yes, 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 it's the babe! It's the babe pirates! Here we go, it's all those hot bears. <laughs> I love it, I love them. This, you know, this scantily clad bay artist, of course, the, the Gyro leader. Yes, yeah, she's also clearly the captain. She's clearly the badass captain. Here we go, yeah, her, her and her badass female squad. Yeah, I love it. I love the enemies of some kind of badass, <laughs> badass family fatals. It's awesome. It's the best shit ever, man. It's, of course, her enemies are, it's like. Cool, uh, yeah, scantily clad uh, pirate ladies. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> like, our poor Fiona's lost. But yeah, her hair is definitely different again, right? So you gotta let it grow out a bit. Hmm, I guess there are pirates and you can uh, enter places. It's the busy muscle, of course. If it's a little rude, though, it's gonna break in there, man. Aren't they good guys? 
Oh, it was like some kind of catacombs or something. Yeah. Some kind of like Christian temple inside of it. This is why I'm mad. This is why I mean going to like Avenue would make more sense in that sense because yeah, because now they're finding like some kind of Christian temple under the ground, right? And that is probably more likely to be either in like the in the in the catacombs, uh, like we see for example in Vanitas this Friday, it's in Paris, right? Or like Sebel Avenue. This is like a holy temple in some mountain range. Like this is less likely to find. This is less <laughs> believable. <laughs> I feel like they should have gone to a more uh, you know, a typical place to hide and stuff in France, right? Um so I have been there, for example, in the catacombs of, of Paris, right? I've been there, yeah, like, it's, it's very interesting. And, uh, you know, that's what you expect to find, like, a holy mine or something else underneath the catacombs, the skulls and so on, yeah. So that's kind of what I mean, like, because if we go to if Paris, uh, to the catacombs level, uh, like, that, I mean, in that area, you would imagine it could be, like, a holy... Because nobody can have a catacomb here anyway with skulls, right? It's kind of like, kind of half-ass uh, catacomb feel to it anyway, so it's like... I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter that much. But I feel it kind of giving this like French catacomb feel to this cave anyway here. Yeah, she's heard of ghost, of course. She's like, me neither! Stupid ghost! Me neither! Look at my pantsu! Yeah, classic tunnels. You might find the pirate lasses. The booty pirates. Yeah, some kind of fate. Get to split up. Can be traps though. But she I mean she has some kind of holy powers, right? She has a Yona yeah. She clearly has some kind of holy powers. She has a kind of you know Yeah. But I mean he just called her a witch, so you know, she got some kind of holy power. Yeah, she's like, I god is telling me, go right, you know. So if she's Yoan of Ark's granddaughter or her reincarnation, right? And Yoan, here we go. Pirate lasses! <laughs> I love this character, it's awesome! Uh scamp little pirate girls, here we go. Especially I love the one with the different, you know, the bikini lines are different colors. But but yeah, I mean, you had of Ark, of course, talk to God and so on, right? So, you know, Phoenix like God telling me, go right. Yeah, like, you know, it makes sense, I guess. Same powers. Yeah, Gakis. And of course they're like, hey big sis! <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, Udishan, yeah, they're like, you know, Anik Chan, yeah, big big girl. Ani, yeah. <laughs> like they kind of like a Yankee. Oh, nice. She's doing, she's doing the Yakio pose! <laughs> They're like, whatever she says, Alvida, man. This is on One Piece now. Alvida, Sean? I love it. They're like, Mary. She's like, left! Okay, right. <laughs> and that's how she figures out. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my god, she's like, what, what, what path? And she's like, left. They're like, okay, so right. <laughs> oh man, I love these pirate girls. They're the best part of the anime. Holy shit, man. Uh, yeah, she's like, you know, using her divine witch power. Which she seems to really be like, you know, someone is telling her what path to go. It is possessed by the gods. It is possessed by God or something. Maybe. It's. I can always count on you, Mary! <laughs> yeah. Big sis this way! I sir <laughs> She's like hello pet <laughs> draws a little Oh yeah, thank you girl! <laughs> Oh my god, this this never gets old, man. Yeah, poor Mary keeps doing it too, like very sincerely, like they like. He might know about the witch. He, he might be lying, right? Pretty boy might be lying. He's like, oh, I don't see anything with this. But his him and his brother are like kind of killer.
Yes, but I got through. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yep, that time we did it again. It's like, what? Yep, she finds some kind of holy scripture. Okay. What is this thing? Hmm. Or it's God. Well, I mean, just the, the glass thing, right? It's a key, probably. It's probably a key, right? Hmm. Just like a pass for the sorts. Yeah. But it's probably a puzzle game. You have to... But maybe Fiona Hack can do it in a memory. The power of God. Yeah, she just knows how to do it. It's very possessed though, it's like, tch, 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 easy. Yeah, okay. Witch! Witch. Witch. Yeah, look at that witch, man. She's witch powers, clearly. Yeah, she walks in, they don't say anything. I think she tells his nose and stuff though, he's like, yes, perfect, as we planned. Yeah, I think he's like, you know, because no, not, why are they now then? It's a kind of cave. Yeah, light that thing on fire with the oil there. And it turns blue. Okay. So what do they actually find down here? Some kind of crazy catacomb thing. Uh, yeah. It's quite like some kind of weird place in France. Some kind of witch cave of sorts. It's hard to tell where this anime is going with. Yeah, I don't know. Like, okay, some magical powers down here. This anime is hard to tell what it's going with there. But certainly... Looks like it fit her, her stuff there. Yeah. The key, the key puzzle bit. It's like a zodiac. Oh, it looks like different. They are different uh, Libra signs and so on. So I look at this. It's kind of like the cave of uh, Superman. Yeah. Uh, Fortress of Solitude. Yeah, I was like, hmm. From that angle, you might see something. Hmm. Yeah, he's like, exactly scratched or kind of like a. Tells you something, right? Roman numerals. Here goes the pirate. No, Fiend's already leaving, though. But I mean, Fiend is possessed, right? Like, Fiend is just leaving and walks into another room. Breaks up a power. Yeah. Oh, it's like a staircase there. Suddenly, it's like a modern staircase, <laughs> metal staircase. Like it's kind of weird. The other thing is like very old school, but it's like a fortress. Yeah, I feel like also like a magical wall here. Yuan Pusale. Also, here's Yuan of Orcs. Yeah, Yuan's death place. Then, is where she actually died, Grandma. Is 
Roman numerals. It's like six, one, three. Yeah, very easy to read. Very one piece now. <laughs> but I feel some of the, you know the pirate last is also right. Here we go. She's right here! Pirate last I think. Oh, yeah. I love this character, the Gyro babe, yeah. I love it in her pirate lasses. Come on, they're the best characters. Here we go. Yeah, sexy pirate lady, sexy guy captain. Come on, they're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> She'd be here. <laughs> not, not enough uh, oppas to be in my crew, girl. The elder brother. We're trying to find the uh, UN. That's, that's where it goes to. That's gonna be in South America then, so they kind of know where it's supposed to be then, I guess. Well, yeah, El Dorado is supposed to be in South America, so they kind of know where to go at least with the. Uh, I don't know what direction to go to. Nice. Kind of assets. Yeah, an asset scene. Very good. Yeah, Roman numerals, baby. Man! Knees in the face, baby. <laughs> but I like it. Yes, you know, a pirate woman has to go around her being knockers, right? Come on. Gonna take the girls with them. Man. Her oppas are massive, it's perfect, man. That's a Dunkirk. Okay, so what, what, what in English? What? Okay. They were like in... Yeah. <gasps> Karin! So there's a kidnapping feed now, I guess. Well, Liga Pole Escape, Karin's a genius. And what's the thing in Fina with them? Yeah, we need a witch right to open the door. Yeah, he, she was like, that guy flirted with me. Yeah, Mary was like, that guy is pretty hot though. <laughs> yeah, she's like, his guy is pretty dead boy, is pretty attractive. Yeah, I like him. She's all like, man, I'm. Very piratey to bring some explosives. I would run away from the explosives instead and uh, expect it to, I don't know, blow me up, baby. So 
So Athena gets kidnapped by the hot pirate ladies. Uh, and this guy, yeah, he's left outside. Were the other ship be closer at? Weren't they the pirate guard ship? How they got there? Weren't they a big, weren't they a docked in a similar place here? But yeah, he's not outside, I guess, but. Yuan of Fina. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, very kawaii, with the longer hair again. And a mixture of that. It's hard to tell where the enemies go, if it's, if it's magical or so on. So, they get Roman numerals. Not very hard to read. What's it like? Yeah, I can go back to it. You can start with that then. Uh, to me, I was surprised when people can't read Roman numerals because it's not a typical thing to pay to do. I feel in school you learn it very early. So it's like 6, 1, 3, 4, right? Yeah, like it's just, you know, play fantasy games, yeah. So V is 5, and then it goes 1, right? Yeah, super simple, right? 6, 1, 3, and then if the, if the line is before the V, it's, it's minus. So it's like, first thing is like, you know, 5 plus 1, 1, 3, then it's like, you know, 5 minus 1. Uh, same thing if you do an x, x is 9, is 10, right? So if you do a 9, you do 1x, uh, that's 9, right? So, yeah, pretty basic stuff there, baby. Roman numerals. Uh, but given the main in El Dorado, El Dorado land is typically seen to be somewhere in South America. So they kind of tell them, because they were like, we don't know where to go in the directions. But like, well, I guess it's like a, it's a, you know, it would be, there will be somewhere in, yeah, South America. And can tell them the, where to go. Suppose. But yeah, she stops crying here when she finds the Yuan's. And I guess it's like Yuan's husband or something. This would be two graves though. Yeah, it's like two tombstones, right? I mean, I suppose Yuan is the left one, it's like a woman. And then you have the right one, looks like a man, right? So I suppose it's like double up there. Like it's uh, Fina's grandparents or something. It really feels like, okay, Yuan has died naturally. Fina might still be a reborn Yuan, but it feels like. This is just her family, right? Her father was a kind of... I mean, she's some kind of royalty, right? Of sort. Keep calling her princess or whatever. It really seems that she's being played off as being, yeah, the grand... Maybe not the grand, but something like that. You know, we don't know exactly how many steps away she's from uh, Yuan, right? But something like, you know, great-grandma, great-great-grandma. Uh, the year this anime taking place is very undefined. They have like a submarine suit, but that costs Karen is a genius, right? And otherwise they have basically like, I don't know, 15, 16th century. And uh, given that this UN, this UN arc lived a lot longer, and she died, I suppose, that in the end of the 15th, uh, the 15, 15th century, I can speak, <laughs> 15, 15, 1, 5, yeah, 15th century. And this anime definitely could take place during the 16th century. Given their technology, of course, not talking, looking at you know um, super genius Karin, but the other characters, um, but probably more the seventh century, or maybe eighteen. But um, yeah, well, I mean, they are in America, so because America was discovered, they started, they kind of started in you know somewhere outside of America, west, something like that. Uh, but America was of course discovered just after. UN of Ark died, right, in the same in the end of the 15th century, and it's kind of how she died, so, um, I mean, not necessarily it could be her mom, mom even, <laughs> like, it could, if it could be her mom, um, it'd be very too close, probably, but theoretically speaking, uh, it could be like that, but, but, you know, her grandma is actually not impossible at all, they say that UN, UN could have died, you know, after America was discovered, right, and then her daughter would have given birth to Fina, maybe like 40, 50 years later, yeah, or whatever. So it's a possibility. But but anyway, it feels like she's like, this is her grandparents then, uh, you know, graves, right? It's also Joanne's husband or something. And uh, this doesn't have to betray her though. Uh, you know, Yusuke Mariko, he's already in love with the witches, said. But in the beginning, right, it really plays off as that this... Uh, she tan is supposed to kind of overlook it, and he's on the and he's like, yeah, there's witch man, and then we see, you know, Grandpa, uh, Grandpa Jiraiya sama he's all like, yeah, we're gonna kill that woman, right? Like, yeah, we, yeah, they didn't expect this Japanese guys to be like, oh, we're gonna kill her or something, or something like that. They're like, oh, she's a witch, we're gonna fight, you know, we're gonna be able to, so they're just using Fina, and they know she's somewhat evil or something, but, I mean, clearly Fina has powers. 
Um, this anime is hard to know what anybody's going with. It's kind of like a historical, you know, what of history, and they change some parts with Duel and so on. But otherwise, most of what they're doing is real, right? Certainly, the samurais are very good at fighting. In the, in the samurais, they have, you know, they have, they're more than humans, peak human guys, but they're not like superpowers. Yeah. Like, they're kind of slightly better than humans, uh, kind of, right? But it feels like Fina has magical powers, though. Like, straight up, is a witch. And obviously, a lot of people call Joanne of Arc a witch, right? So, that's probably that's what they're referring to. That she's like, oh, she's kind of Joanne, you know, she, had, she got the witch powers. But clearly, Fina got possessed, though, right? Clearly, Fina got. She's opening the door. She's like, oh, it's my memory. But she, and she tend to keep, 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 you know, under play. He's like, oh, no, she's just, you know, memory. Uh, Yukimawa's like, what's happening to her? She's clearly like, a, she's possessed, right? Like, yeah. Yukimawa's like, something's happening to her. She's kind of like, oh, yeah, this, some, you know, magically just doing it, right? And she tells is like, no, 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 it's just memory. It's just memory, bro, it's just memory. So he's, he's clearly lying, right? He seems to be working with his brother to betray them. Betray Fina, at least. But it doesn't feel like the older people, like Karen and someone knows about that. It's like she tends to betray them, and then the others are, I don't know, unaware of them actually aiming to kill Finn or something, right? And I guess using her to get to the place, but... But I love these girls, though. <laughs> I love them, man! They were, they were a hoot, man! Her, her badass uh, pirate crew, yeah, they were a hoot. <laughs> Popping up there, and a lot of the course called it, you know, like, hey, Big C's on here! Yeah, with the like kind of Yankee crew, they're like, come on, girl! Yeah, they're, they're some kind of like, you know, Aniki, Anishan, and so on, yeah, that's kind of, you know, they're talking like some kind of Yankee, um, Yankee crew or something. Uh, I love that shit, man. And she's, of course, a badass uh, Kuru girl. I like she was doing the Yaku O position, though. Here it is, yeah, she's doing the Yaku O. <laughs> she's doing the Yaku pose, yeah. She's like, oh, I'm gonna, like, I can find him. This pose was amazing. And she's like, oh, what, what, Pat Mary? Left! And she's like, okay, go, let's go to the right. I can always trust you, Mary. <laughs> so me. And then she was like, later on, we're drawing the lines to them. Like, yeah, 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 okay, okay, Mary, we can do it again. Uh, this part, okay, this is great. Um, thanks for your support, Mary. Man, poor Mary. They weren't left. Good job, Mary. It's the right. <laughs> uh, she's so mean to her. Yeah, this scene here, she's like pointing all the direction, and the other girl is like, I'm just gonna <laughs> draw a line here. She's like, over here! And she's like, okay, these other parts, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we see the other one looking at her like one idiot. <laughs> but it's like, I like how they like, Mary's so stupid. We used to do what she, we used to do the opposite of what she does. Uh, she's clearly falling for the pretty boy though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's clearly falling for one of the many pretty boys in this anime. Um, of course she has. Yeah, she's falling for the pretty boy. Like, uh, obviously. Obviously falling for a pretty boy. Um, who wouldn't, right? But anyway, anyway. Um, it's a great, it's a great episode, man. Uh, a great episode, another great episode. But I'm just wondering, even if it have magic, right? The anime is kind of going back and forth between being some kind of you know mysterious history stuff, this like super advanced history stuff. But at the same time, Fina's like, I can tell you the parent is possessed, right? So, yeah, like uh, given this anime seems to pay off that Yuan is right, right? The Yuan orc actually had ma magical powers. Um, yeah, okay, like. It seems like Fina has some kind of magical power, definitely. She's a witch of so watch, right? Uh, but anyways, that's a good episode. I love the pirate last so gonna be see. I am gonna enjoy next episode definitely with Fina, of course, hanging out with those pirate booties girls. And I'm, I'm sure she's gonna, you know, befriend them, right? Come on. There's a kind of honorable... You know, she was sleeping with um, the navy guy, right? clearly, the Gairu, the captain. But even though she's like a badass Gairu captain, she has some kind of honor, right? She has some kind of honor, clearly. And she clearly has a kind of, you know, feminine, you know, female empowerment girl, right? She only recruits females. And she only, you know, respects ladies, right, in the end. She's like, you know, very, you know, uh, how to say it, you know, uh, feminine. Yeah, like, poor she is, like, you know. So, so I, I bet, yeah, that she's going to be, you know, hard ass on Fina, right? But the other girls are probably going to befriend Fina. The other girls are probably going to be like, hey, Fina, I want to help out with this thing. I mean, she's probably going to spend an episode at least with them, right? So, uh, traveling to El Dorado with them, South America. So, we're probably gonna see her on, on their ship, right? Then, yeah, they're a hundred percent female squad, and she's obviously gonna be. That was the premise I read before the end of the she was gonna have like a hundred female squad, right? So, 
I'm, I'm better she's nice to be friends with the, the, the Captain Gyro, she's gonna be a little bit like, ah, oh, this girl, right? But the other girls are probably gonna be like, eh, Fina is so fun, she's clearly gonna befriend Mary, and, you know, the, the, the other girls are a little less, uh, they're more casual, right? Yeah, she's clearly gonna become their friend, obviously. And that's why they can't kill her later on, because they're like, they can, they're gonna be friends with her. I mean, and the thing is that even though these pirate ladies are played off as the crooks, right? And she kicks, you know, she needs carrying and so on. They also very much played off as this comedy, comedy goof, right? I mean, they just played off as too much of like, you know, this kind of Disney... Yeah, like, you know, I say it like, like this again, like they, they played off too much as like a, a, a comedy group. You know, you know what I mean? They played off too much as like this, you know, cutesy, uh, scantily clad ladies that are like, like yeah, 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 yeah. They, they, are, they are played off too way too much as... Like, no, they're, they're bad guys, but they're way too friendly with each other, right? And they're way too humorous. So they're clearly gonna be good guys, you know, deep down, right? And because the anime is very uh, met, met, westernized, right, in the sense. Uh, and in Disney kind of stuff, it's very common, right? The kind of Stockholm Syndrome, Lima Syndrome, right? Kind of befriend the, the captors and one. Very, very common. Yeah, I mean, I think certainly Fiona's gonna befriend these girls. Certainly. Look at them. They're... they're they're way too much like, hey, you know, they're, they're, they're way too comedic played out, right? So they're probably gonna befriend Fena, and then of course they're gonna help Fena against the evil people, right? right? They are, I, I think certainly they're gonna team up with the Samurai Ninja guys later because they're gonna, you know, fall in love with Fena, and then they're gonna help her against the real bad guys, right? The unredeemed, you know, bad guys. Certainly, certainly. I think that's like a no brainer. They're gonna help them to fight the real bad guys later on, right? And for example, if the samurai is gonna betray Fina, like the grandpa and so on, then these girls are gonna defend her, right? And so on. And to team up with Yuki Mauro and so on. So, I mean, come on, look at them. They're, they're way too comedically uh, focused. Uh, so, yeah, I can't wait for these girls to, you know, become good guys, certainly. <laughs> but anyway, see you guys and have a great day.